Tell us, Mama, what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to eat barbecue chicken sandwiches. Y'all remember when I sent Tyler to get that rotisserie chicken for me last week or whenever it was? They didn't have them ready yet, and he brought back that barbecue, and I was making it for a recipe that I didn't need it to be barbecue chicken. It was that chicken and rice casserole, so I didn't need it to be barbecue chicken. He went back for me later and got the rotisserie chicken when they put them out. Anyway, we're going to just make barbecue chicken sandwiches with this, and I think I have some tater tots. Yeah, I think I'm going to do a... Another butternut squash. I'm going to do a butternut squash. Let's see if we have tater tots in here. No tater tots, but we have zesty curls. I mean curly. Zesty. Zesty curly. Zesty curls. Them right there are good. <clears throat> we have curly fries. Them are really good. Sesame seed brioche buns. These are uh, Kate's Cove. I just noticed that myself. Yeah, that means we need to go to Kate's Cove. That's what that means, everybody. We're gonna jump up and go to Kate's Cove right now. As bad as we hate it. Well, it, we'll eat the chicken first. As we go? Yes, to go orders. <laughs> we can't go right now, y'all. I gotta shoot some more horses. Yeah, we can't go. We, we gotta save wait. our money. Okay, y'all, the butternut squash is just about done. Curly fries are almost done. We just need to heat up the chicken. Okay, we'll put the chicken in here. And beet, you want to heat up your beet, she said? Yeah. No water needed? Oh, I don't, I wasn't. Ooh. Folks, I'm just doing canned beets tonight. I know a lot of y'all are uh, wanting to eat more beets. That's the reason I'm including them in this mm -hmm. meal right here to encourage you. I know y'all want to see them beets again. Right there they are. <laughs> <laughs> Why does people always want to see beets? I don't know. I mean, I'll tell you something else I don't think people's eating enough of is that's, uh, every time I go up there to Ingles, they got that same one sitting on there. Horseradish. Horseradish, yeah. yeah. That horseradish is not moving up there, and I'm tired, I'm really tired Did of it. Did you really see the same one? I think it's the same one, baby. Yeah. I'm just telling you right now, I think it's the same one. You know what we should do one. is put it in a different place every time? and then made like a fun game for the people who work there. I'm going to end up buying it. You know what I mean? That way they don't have to worry about that thing no more. <laughs> Y'all, that Instant Pot right there is really a good thing. Oh yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Mm-hmm. That's, that's a pretty handy little deal right there. You get in the buy and need to really make some pinto beans. Yeah. And you need them done in a hurry. Oh Lord have mercy, y'all. Y'all burnt your beets. <laughs> what in the world? Jonah and Sissy built the fort back up. You going to look at it? Let me go look at it first. Make sure there's no snake in there trying to make its home in there for you first. Anybody in here? There's a chicken running back behind there. How do I get on this plane? Let me look around the back. Okay, coast is clear. You can look in it. Somebody's got a fire going somewhere. You smell it? Let's see what they've left us in here. Oh. Somebody must have given them some watermelon. It's amazing how clean they can get a watermelon rind. And water's good. We bought another lock and lid container to keep their feet in. Hopefully, a bear won't drag this one off because we learned that that's what happened with the other one. I can't remember though if it had the dog food in it or the chicken feed, the one that the bear drug off, but it was one or the other and so, we lost one feed bin. The other one, I think we just lost the lid to. Manny, are you gonna stay with Ty? I'm going to get the okra. No. Yeah, that's the swing that we got from Aldi, the one he's on right now. We've got some serrano peppers coming here, but they can still go a few days. And some banana peppers over here. I'm gonna go ahead and get some basil. I love the way basil smells. Ah, these mosquitoes, y'all. Thought they weren't bad out here today, but they are. Trying something new this morning. 
Bob's Red Mill Mighty Tasty Hot Cereal. I don't think we've ever made hot cereal before, so I'm not sure if it's like, it looks kind of like grits. Is this maybe like porridge or something? I don't know. Made from freshly milled whole grain brown rice, corn, sorghum, and buckwheat. Our Mighty Tasty Hot Cereal is a satisfying, gluten-free hot cereal for a delicious start to your morning. Top it off. Make your bowl extra special with brown sugar, butter, and a dash of cinnamon. Or slice bananas, cocoa nibs. Is that like chocolate chips? What are cocoa nibs? <laughs> so we'll see how this is. It just takes, uh, you can do it on the stove top or the microwave. We're doing stove top. We bring the water and salt to a bowl, whisk in the cereal, and cook it on low for 10 minutes. And then we remove from heat and let it stand for two minutes. Titus is gonna eat his with just some fruit, I think. I'll put a little bit of brown sugar in mine. That's how I like oatmeal, so that's how we'll try this too. Although this, like I said, looks more like grits than, you know, like it's gonna be more like grits than oatmeal. Okay, y'all. Yeah, it's pretty much like grits. A little different than grits, but that's what it reminds me of mostly is grits, but even grittier than grits. Like it doesn't get as creamy as grits get, and I put more water out. Well, maybe not more. It's like a three time, three to one ratio of liquid and the hot cereal. Grits, I do a four to one. So maybe if I put more liquid with this, I would like it a little better. It would be just like grits then but yeah you just got the brown rice and buckwheat and sorghum added in there instead of it just being the ground corn you know. I think I like grits better though I'd rather have grits or oatmeal but next time I tried mine with brown sugar Titus did fruit he said he didn't like it too great next time we'll try the sliced bananas and cocoa nibs I'm assuming that's like chocolate chips and almond butter I don't know <laughs> okay I looked it up cocoa nibs are small pieces of crushed cocoa beans so they're like little bitter chocolate pieces so yeah I was close and just like that it's lunchtime we're making something fun for lunch today if and I do have Ritz crackers or it can be the off-brand just any kind of crackers we just need crackers pepperoni and mozzarella cheese. We're gonna make toasted pepperoni cracker sandwiches. We're gonna melt some butter and put a little bit of Italian seasoning and garlic powder in there to brush over the top of the crackers. And they just have to go in the oven for about 10 minutes, just long enough to melt the cheese. And I'm using shredded cheese, so it won't take it too long. We only have two days until school starts back. So today is uh, get the house all cleaned up, get the refrigerators cleaned out, because tomorrow will be grocery day. Get the books all situated on the bookshelf. Get the house cleaned up. Did I already say that part? Yeah. Clothes washed up. Get ready to get back into the school routine. I'm looking for the garlic powder. Whoopsie, oh, whoops, 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 that's ground mustard, not it. Um, I may be out of garlic powder. I need to add that to the list. I do have this though, and this will work just fine. It's the um, caramelized onion butter. We'll just use a little bit of that in there. That'll work. So we'll just melt this butter real quick. It's just me, Manly, Jonah, and Cece here, and they actually already made themselves a little picnic lunch and went outside, but I'm still gonna make enough of these because I'm sure they'll want to try them. They like to go have picnics out on the trampoline. <laughs> Okay, now we'll put a pepperoni. 
These make good little appetizers too. I think one of y'all might have told me about making these for an appetizer. I can't remember for sure. Now we'll put some cheese on top. This has been a bunch of easy things happening last night. I'm trying to use up stuff in the refrigerator since I'm doing grocery day tomorrow. Oh, there's a pretty butterfly out there, Manny Mac. There's a yellow one and a bunch of dragonflies. You got really close to a dragonfly outside the other day, didn't you? Yeah. We'll put a little bit of Italian seasoning in our butter. And a little bit of this wood-fired onion butter seasoning. Just a little. And just brush this on the top. Alright, going in the oven. About 10 minutes. <laughs> 